okay so yeah. see what we will do over here like uh, you know we'll just uh, cover it's it's a kind of a like demo session so we'll just keep it as a demo only uh, and uh, uh, one more thing is that uh, like uh, what we will cover uh, is like basic uh, part only i don't want to go in depth but what are the features of a file net and uh, uh, how it all started and uh, you know how uh, when ha when uh, actually the filenet has became uh, ibm filenet so so yeah let me start so so filenet is like you know if you see here uh, the the exact uh, terminology the word is like f i l e n e t so basically you you know right i mean in, internet uh, we say and intranet we say right so yes. in the same way yeah in the same way it's uh, basically the word i mean this uh, word both are uh, combined together so the file is let's segregate these both uh, words file and as well as net so internet is actually uh, i mean as per like me um, as far as i know so basically it's internetworking so uh, um, the word has actually uh, maybe it's you know it's very uh, uh, big one so that is the reason it, they, they call it as internet in the same way so over here it's like file networking so file net so they made it as file net so ba uh, basically over here we are we are actually focusing on the files so when we when i say files so it means uh, like soft copy or it can be uh, you know dot pdf dot xls and dot doc or dot uh, xm xmg i mean msg outlook or any any uh, jpg or png or any kind of mime type that you see or file type that you see so uh, you know managing those files uh, that's what this file net does so this file net product actually it's uh, it started uh, around the year of 1982 if i'm not wrong uh, so all these information we can actually get it from a uh, wiki file net wikipedia so over here if you just go to this link so it has been uh, started yeah 1982 it founded in 1982 and uh, acquired by ibm so that happened in year in the year of 2006 so you you can see over here right so yeah, yeah the fate uh, this uh, uh, acquired by IBM 2006. So from then, uh, the name actually from uh, FileNet. I mean, they, they 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 did not do anything to this particular uh, you know the uh, terminology or the word uh, FileNet, but they added like obviously like IBM uh, behind that, beside that. Uh, so it became IBM FileNet now. Okay. So uh, IBM has its own IBM uh, content management. So this file net actually comes under content management so if you just uh, look at over here so it is based in costa mesa california and the company market ecm okay and uh, bpm services so ecm means enterprise content management and bpm means business process management so this ecm uh, uh, this um, ecm is kind of a like uh, you know what we say as a umbrella uh under which all these uh, uh different uh, products uh, uh you know they they actually come under this uh, particular umbrella so like uh for filenet the the competitors are sharepoint and open text and uh, uh, documentum and other uh la there is one more product called uh, laser fiche okay the spelling actually is laser uh, f i s uh, c h e so it's laser fiche ecm uh, so you can there is a website also so yeah so this pro particular uh, product uh, laser fiche uh, and uh, other uh, you know content management softwares they all actually come under uh, this uh, ecm that's called as uh, enterprise content management ecm okay so uh, going further okay so if we just uh, 
go further now so there are uh, many versions of filenet so when it started all the way like uh, uh, from 1982 but they actually started making the versions uh, uh, the actual versions uh, they have been started from 3.5 okay so if you just yeah focus it over here so 3.5 uh, 5.x x is like 1 2 3 4 like kind of like fixed packs uh, so it can be anything so there is a reason they kept it as x so uh, it started from 2005 right so from here they started making improvements uh, when ibm has uh, acquired uh, filenet uh, you can see here uh, ownership is ibm filenet initially was like obviously filenet and uh, then yeah when ibm took over so from there the versioning started so 4.0.x 4.5 and now it's uh, it's in wikipedia it's uh, showing as uh, 555 because it i think they have updated it on uh, till 2020 only uh, but uh, if we see the actual ibm website uh, so the version is i think probably it would be something like 5510 or 11 okay so yeah so this is uh you know some uh, information about the versions of uh, filenet so the, all these versions and you can see the release dates so what ibm has done they uh, they started Im uh, improvising the software uh, and um, uh, now the current scenario if we if we see uh, filenet has actually come up with the containers also so the, uh, when I say containers, means the containers can be uh, can be used uh, as a uh, deployment, uh, uh, you know, to be done in a Docker. Okay. So we uh, we can take those containers and we can deploy in a Docker, particular Docker or respective Docker's. So we can create some uh, Docker's and then we can actually deploy them into the uh, different uh, different uh, containers okay we have to so it's a like ready-made uh, uh, you know the shipped software so when when actually when a customer when a customer purchases this uh, software uh, he will get the bundled package uh, so uh, in that so we should not see uh, uh, like filenet is only one product because filenet uh, actually comes up comes with the multiple products because in order to filenet uh, you know to, to run uh, it requires some server some up some server in the sense not i'm not talking about the machine the server the local machine or the actual uh, physical server i'm talking about the application server because filenet is an application where if we see technically so in order to run this filenet we need an application server and no, and apart from this application server filenet also needs the database so there is a uh, there is a architecture over here if we directly jump to that particular page this is all some kind of uh, you know intro we can actually go to this later all the same information that i spoken i just told you yeah this is uh, one kind of architecture there is one more architecture i guess so let me have a look okay okay we have this one there is one more simplified architecture uh, we can actually yeah we can go through this as well yeah it has a lot of components so that is the reason let me search for some other architecture i'll, I'll just type file architecture and then i'll just go to images yeah, this is the one. Okay, fine. So open the image in new tab. Okay, this is perfect now. So over here, you if you see, let me take a screenshot of this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was talking about the FileNet application, right? So it requires some application server and database. So here are, this is a uh, uh, architecture. It's, it's, it's a basic uh, higher level architecture, not in-depth architecture, uh, because in-depth we can actually cover that later. But for this demo session, we'll keep it as like, you know, the higher level one. So over here, if you see a uh, file, this is a, a bit old architecture of older version. Uh, however, we'll just, uh, yeah, we, uh, we'll just go through this. Let me actually check one more architecture. Uh, F5. Oh, okay, perfect. I have that. Uh, this, this architecture is like, uh, 4.0.1 i guess so let me go to this system architecture yeah perfect This is a distributed architecture. I, I, I'm just looking for a more simpler one. Sample distributed. Yeah, this one. Yeah, perfect. Let me close this. Okay. So if you just uh, look at this, uh, take a new snap. Yeah, this uh, architecture actually uh, uh, from the version, it's actually from the version of uh, uh, 5.2, okay? So over here, if you see, uh, uh, as I uh, told you before, that uh, uh, FileNet requires application server. So the uh, IBM FileNet component, which is like light green color components that you see the boxes over here, can you see Avis? the boxes with the lightish green color yes right yeah okay so this is filenet okay filenet a uh, component so we, we can say it's a filenet component over here so if you just see this one uh, is filenet component okay and uh, as i told you that uh, it requires uh, application server so this is the application server so the file net is running inside the application server. This is the application server, this total box. Yeah, and it, as I told you, it requires the database. So here goes the database. So the, the cylindrical structure over here, relational database management system. So um, yeah, considering these two components, uh, they act as a prerequisite okay so i covered uh, right now i covered the filenet uh, component over here uh, and the java application server not in depth i'm just uh, you know just pointing the uh, component on the architecture and this is the database but uh, let me uh, just show you the other things now just let me write down So there are two uh, types of, uh, you know, uh, designate, designations uh, which are available when you are uh, coming to FileNet. They are like FileNet uh, developer. This is one and FileNet. One more is like comes under administrator. Okay. So developer actually requires uh, a skill set of you know java concepts of uh, java and uh, it requires javascript as well and there are some other like uh, even up, up to uh, if you see like uh, j2w concepts uh, till jsp 
and serless and next the list actually goes because uh, as we uh, go in depth in this file and developer uh, position uh, what exactly it requires is like dojo apart from these uh, you know java and uh, since it is a, it is a programming uh, right so it is a development uh, kind of position so the developer has to uh, come up with uh, you know the applications uh, custom applications because uh, in filenet there are some uh, you know apis so apis are uh, like they are called as application programming interface so filenet uh, in the sense like ibm obviously so ibm filenet they they actually came up with some apis and uh, already uh, you know like uh, they have uh, uh, prepared few uh, ready made apis so the developer uh, has to use these apis and come up with the custom applications which client is actually requesting so this uh, is for the people uh, who wants to go into this road path uh, since it is like final developer obviously as i told you like you know it it requires uh, the kind of like uh, you know prerequisite knowledge uh, the person he has to actually uh, cover these or uh, he has to come up with these uh, skills skill set and then he has to go cover the file net so this that is how it is under development now when it comes to administrator doesn't require any kind of any kind of prerequisite skills uh, only uh, requirement is like basic computer knowledge and basic networking the two basic okay so uh, how a computer actually communicates with another computer maybe few commands and all so the file net administrator per, uh, responsibility is to actually take care of uh, all file net applications okay file net related applications so and apart from this the administrator uh, has to actually uh, maintain the complete health check of total environment he need to take care of all the uh, uh you know the environments environments in the sense like yeah, as you know like since you're in it so there are development environment uat sit pro production environment right so in the same way uh, all these environments uh, he has to take care so apart from this uh, file net uh, as you can see over here in the uh, wikipedia that we have gone you can see 5.1. 5.2.0, 521, 550, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So uh, sometimes client actually uh, says, oh, okay, so it's it's uh, high time now that uh, the 555 is going to end of support. Let's say, for example, the, the client actually uh, wants to go to the newer version because uh, he wants to be compatible and he wants the new features. And uh, uh, he decides actually to go with... Uh, newer version so the here the file net administrator uh, comes into picture so the file net administrator is responsible to upgrade the file net system so this is also one kind of one uh, major uh, role of the file net administrator is that he has to take care of all the activities uh, related to the upgrade okay uh, as well as migrate as well as uh, apply patches time to time uh, there, there will be some kind of patches uh, released so administrator has to actually apply the patches as well so these are few few kind of uh, you know roles and responsibilities so uh, 
i hope the uh, you know like uh, if uh, i think we are clear over here that we there are as i said like uh, you know two positions two designations in a file net one is like ibm file net developer ibm file net administrator so once the once the candidate uh, you know uh, or the resource uh, he gets the experience in administrator he will not obviously will not stay in the same position but he will actually uh, you know move to another position that is consultant and later uh, uh, you know like uh, technical architect and later maybe solution architect uh, it solution architect is the final stage uh, in this file net administrator uh, kind of uh, field okay developer obviously he stays the developer only because uh, maybe he will go to a team lead position but uh, uh, he has to keep on taking the customization requirements uh, from the client and then he has to apply it uh, and then he has to come up with the user stories uh, in the and uh, he has to you know like update uh, the uh, you know the total in the the stories in the jira tool and he has to create the task for the you uh, different different stories and then he has to come um, uh, you know provide uh, the activities uh, for development uh, of that particular application to his uh, teammates and then final uh, finally he has to come up with this uh, application and then he has to go to from development he has to go to uat and from uat to sit sit to uat uat to prod so the, i mean that's developer uh, you know a kind of uh, activities that he has to perform so yeah so yeah these are the two things that we need to uh, you know understand uh, clearly okay so is that clear till yeah. now uh, so these yes, things yes. Yeah. yeah whatever we covered okay now coming to the opportunities uh, uh coming to this uh, training uh, training part and uh, you know what how is, is the upgrade and yeah. migration upgrade and migration what what is different between upgrade and migration migrate is like uh, you know shifting from one uh, place to another place in the sense play, here place means uh, the server okay or the environment so totally shifting the base environment in the sense like they they are actually let's say uh, uh, you know in the in a project uh, uh, you know they they are like 5.5.0 and uh, they are running on a old operating system and they wanted to uh, actually move to a complete different operating system the newer one so they have to actually migrate all those all those applications from the older environment to the newer environment maybe there is a possibility it all depends on the client only it's subjective because we can't say it is mad i mean it's client's perspective because he, if he if he says that uh, i want ibm db2 let's say in 5.5.0 they are using oracle and uh, let's uh, let's say that from 5.5.0 and they want to go to 5.5.5 so and they uh, they want the uh, different uh, database not the one they are using so databases are three types right the uh, different providers in uh, as i mean as far as we know like oracle is the one which uh, is supported by filenet and uh, ibm db2 it's a own ibm product db2 and one more is like uh, ms sql right microsoft uh, sql server for the file net, which is the best one they recommend or uh... it uh, it depends on the client because as i told you it's not nothing there is nothing like best one because uh, uh, whatever client uh, takes the license it all depends on the license so best in the sense obviously ibm ibm will say best is our product only like they, their product which is ibm db2 so because it's it's from ibm right so the support and uh, you know uh, all the patches and everything will, will be given by ibm oracle is also fine i have seen like many customers they actually use this uh, uh, you know oracle uh, uh, database as well yeah okay so uh, yeah migration in the sense like moving from one environment to uh, newer and older to newer environment uh, upgradation is in the sense 
uh, upgrading from then and there itself like in we call we call it as in place upgrade so yeah so these are the two things now coming to this uh, training part uh, generally fi filenet is first of all uh, uh, it's called uh, uh, you know filenet is niche uh, skill set okay so So niche uh, skill set actually uh, it means uh, a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. So uh, this uh, product uh, comes under this uh, you know uh, niche skill set because we don't see many trainers uh, or uh, it is not something like you know like people actually uh, you know go to uh the training centers uh like uh, you know uh, the which are available outside and then uh like hundreds and hundreds of centers uh, uh we can't see this file net everywhere so it's uh, since it is a very niche uh, skill set only uh you know at uh this uh training is available for the corporate uh, uh you know tra training providers only and very few like uh as you can tell me like you know uh, in this current situation uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, frankly speaking, there will be, uh, you know, like uh, we'll do, we don't find much. The only reason is, uh, the only reason is the cost. Because if we see uh, FileNet to it, uh, there are some course codes. Let me type that. Yeah, this is one uh, course which is uh, offered for uh, FileNet. So, we'll just go to this. Uh, website so f2810 this is actually the code it's uh, from ibm uh, from ibm website so if we go here uh, yeah so there are some training providers over here which are available and let's say if we actually uh, click on this and some select some date uh, so as a trainer uh, I'll be I'll be actually uh, you know walking you through the same course over here whatever uh, that uh, you know uh, that uh, the terms and condition that you will be uh, discussing with your training provider as like trainer from my side i'll be actually dealing uh, the course in the same way so th there are so many products as i told you uh, in file it, that comes under filenet uh, each and every uh, product uh, has a sub again a separate uh, a value for that particular course however we we uh, from my side i'll be including those other courses also they are again like one thousand dollars thousand dollars altogether it's like eight lakhs to ten lakhs worth of uh, you know courses altogether that we we are going to cover in this and uh, one more thing is that we um, uh, you know in uh, when you are actually planning to come into filenet you need a little bit of experience so uh, in the sense uh, you know like you need to have a knowledge a prior knowledge coming to filenet because fresher uh, in filenet is not welcome so what we do for keeping that in point of view uh, we i i provide the uh, you know kind of like lab activity uh, which has you know which will cover the vmware the vmware you know right the virtual machine so we yes. provide the virtual yeah virtual uh, machine software and now apart from this uh, you know we will just ask you uh, and we will guide you to install the particular product on this uh, in this virtual machine software so uh, that is also we, uh, if we see canara uh, hs bc filenet
the technology is hosted on uh, IAS or uh, WebSphere. WebSphere, WebSphere. Okay. There, there are in actually. The uh, oh, okay. Windows and as well as Linux, both operating system. So, both operating system. So there is archive tenders. Let me go to this link. So, WebSphere is best uh, recommended from uh, FileNet or uh, other technology also. It's it's there is nothing like best uh, ways because uh, it all as I told you it all depends on the client. So uh, cl if client actually has taken the licenses of WebLogic, then he will go to WebLogic. And if client uh, has taken the licenses uh, for uh, uh, IBM WebSphere, uh, then we have to uh, work on WebSphere. Till now, whatever projects I have worked in my 10 plus years of experience, uh, it's all uh, it's all into this uh, you know IBM WebSphere only. Yeah. <laughs> So here you can see uh, this is a re re RFP. RFP means uh, request uh, for proposal for uh, AMS. AMS means application management system. So this is uh, uh, actually a tender uh, which uh, has been released in 2020. So uh, which they, they have released it for FileNet uh, or FileNet also. Apart from FileNet, some other application, the portal, Workflow means stack and Cognos. So they 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 are still using this Canada HSBC file uh, HSBC life insurance. They are still using. So insurance sector, banking sector uh, like Dosh Bank is completely used in using this uh, FileNet uh, product. So the, uh, and mo and one more thing is as I told you this is a niche uh, skill set. So people who okay. Thanks okay. for your valuable time. Yeah. Yeah, thank no you. Problem. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, thanks for sitting. Bye. Bye.